So now we have a bunch of crystals organized by size because our client is very specific on the size of the clusters. And now all these dirty pyrite has to be cleaned. When you look at it closer, you see it's full of brown oxid and dirt. And the only way to clean that is using acid. So we're going to bathe those now in hydrochloric acid. How long we have to bathe them depends on the concentration of the acid. The more concentrated, the shorter the time, of course. So now we have to fill that up with acid. That's the next step. Okay, so now the pyrite has been for an entire day in hydrochloric acid. Now we're gonna use that acid for the next bucket. And this pyrite has to go into water in order to get rid of the acid. That's the next step. So this material of course now is full of acid still. So it has to be washed now with clear water four times. And then afterwards it goes into another acid bath. Yeah, howdy. Okay, so we have been washing this pyrite with water four times now and it's still not enough. There's still acid in there. So now this pyrite goes into another acid bath with phosphoric acid. The idea now is to neutralize the remains of the hydrochloric acid. If we don't do that and this dries out, then it might become yellowish and we don't want to have this coloring. It has to be the golden natural color pyrite and that's why we need another bath in phosphoric acid. Yeah. And again, it has to be washed with water four times to be clean. Yeah, vamos. Okay, so after the bath in phosphoric acid, of course, the pyrite has to be cleaned again several times with water. And then it has to be laid out to sun dry for at least two to three days so that the humidity from all the pores is disappearing and it's not starting to oxidate the, again. Um, and that is the long process of getting from a very dirty pyrite, how it comes out of the mine, to a very shiny pyrite like it looks here. Um, in case you ever have to do that treatment by yourself with any kind of pyrite you get, um, the acids we're talking about are contained within a lot of household chemicals in order to clean up tubings or something like that. So you should be able to get these acids in uh, big stores where they sell these kind of household items. Of course the concentration is lower so the process will take much more time than with concentrated acids but basically it's the same chemical. You can use that and uh, one more uh, tip for people that buy pyrite if you're if you're getting along uh, across very cheap pyrite then mostly the, that is so cheap because the wholesaler from Peru has saved money by not making the process complete. Uh, so that will mean that your pyrite will not stay shiny for a very long time, that after a few months it starts getting dull and that's a clear sign for not having cleaned uh, intensively and for saving money because all this is hours of work, money, investment and that increases the price. So good quality pyrite should stay shiny at least for two or three years in any kind of climate. Okay, so I hope that uh, this tutorial helped you and uh, we're looking forward to get more questions and answer more stuff. Thank you.